Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video Future HSBC by Canada account holders In this video we are going to explore the straightforward process of creating your HSBC by Canada account online in 2024 Whether you are an individual or a business HSBC has tailored solutions for you Let's make the account setup smooth and stay with me Let's get started so before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, first thing first is to head up to the HSBC account or website. So click on hsbc.canada and basically this is the website. Here as you can see, we have all of these informations about the bankings, the investing, the retiring, new to Canada, online, etc. So here we have also the login, which is, I think, wrote uh in a wrong way it should be login not log on but i don't know <laughs> yeah it doesn't matter so here also we have the resistor so we have to register account with them so click on register and we have to fulfill these informations so first is to accept all of these and then click on continue here as you can see to verify your identity enter the last 10 digits of your bank card number on your 10 digit electronic banking number well as you can see i don't have a bank number so i don't have a bank account already and i want to create with you a bank account so this method guys in front of us is actually the wrong way here it is the correct way on opening an account before moving to canada so banking in canada is made easy now so here are basically the ways how to open a canadian account if you are moving to canada how to open a canadian account if you're not moving to canada and much more so here we go the first thing is to compare checking account and see which one is the best for you then complete an online application and use SSPC easy TM to validate your identity then you have once you have received notification that the account is open you can wire funds into it visit your branch in Canada and get access to a wide range of HSBC services so for now we have to actually compare checking account as you can see there is variations of checking account here you can see each one and at its own and finally go for the one without any fees after you go with the one without any fees you will have here the page where you have all the information about it for example here you have no fees no minimum balance etc etc which is the best for people who are not coming or visiting Canada for students etc so after you do that well what you'll have to do is to actually book an appointment since online as you saw at the beginning we really require a bank account with them and since we don't really own one well that doesn't really make sense if i'm trying to register and i don't have a bank account well this method is not going to help you at all guys so we have to go through the other step which is basically by making an appointment so here i'm just going to make an appointment so click right here and as you can see book an appointment and here let's get started is as simple as that now we just have to wait for it until it loads and here we have to pick a service so check in save uh, check in or saving mortgage unsecured lending investments other borrowing and term deposit uh, deposit and gigs so for us we are going with checking and saving so let's go with that select and here enter your town city or poster code or branch so for now we're just gonna use for example here let me just get like a random information canada okay vancouver and uh, let's check if there is anything never low let's check if there is anything close to us okay there is this one let's select it and here we have the calendar we, we can choose the correct uh, hour so here there is the hours from 9 a.m there is 12 p.m 1 p.m 2 p.m and 3 p.m let's go for example with 1 p.m let's click on next uh, and finally here we just have to fulfill these informations guys again here we are not going to create an account we are actually just booking uh, or schedule uh, like booking an appointment with them so we can create an account online 
on a call not as in person or not as online as you might think because communicating it online will require you to be already a member of the HSBC uh, like bank uh, members so here I'm not gonna do anything I'm just gonna fill this information with my random information I'm gonna get through this website of course you should use your correct informations or you will not get the appointment ready for you to go so here let's just put the number please check if the inbox uh, here we go check in savings open a premier account or oh, let's choose something for students which is foreign account would this be a single or joint account single um, nothing the contact details you provide will be used for communication all right then click on next and here we simply have to confirm it and yeah this is as simple as you can see guys so now thanks Mr. Uh, Johnston, your appointment booking has been confirmed. So your booking reference number is 115606. So now we just have to print it in case we would like to, or we don't have to at all. Now we just have to wait till this day, which is the Monday, March 4th of March, which is basically tomorrow at 1 p.m. We have a call with them and we can simply right there create an account with then few minutes they can they will be members who are explaining everything to us which is better than us going through the website because website might not be updates up to date or it might not have all the information or we don't know how to square in it properly so we can have the full information about the plan that we are going for so now we simply have to wait tomorrow in case if there was any email that will be sent to us make sure to check your email frequently during the day and after you are done with that just tomorrow you will get a link into your email with uh, like a zoom call that you can join in case you didn't uh, like join at the correct time they will have to call you in your number so also make sure that your number is correctly added if your number is not correct then all of these steps that you have made are gonna be gone and they're gonna be worthless so yeah the most important thing as i said is to add the information correctly so you can actually have everything good to go and also guys for those uh for as an information as an additional information this is the member who is going to contact you which is michael chen so once you contact them you know what what uh, what name you should you should call it with for example mr michael or something like that which will be uh, helpful for you just as a simple additional information that would be useful in case you would like to know about the stuff that you are going to contact so yeah guys that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye